Hey there. Welcome to my presentation on my influential educator, who is Jonathan Kozel. Jonathan Kozel has been influential in many of the ways we look at education and the availability of it, specifically within poorer districts. During campaigns of civil rights in 1964 and 1965, Jonathan Kozel went from a promising academic career to a teacher in a poor black neighborhood in America. It was from then on that he devoted his life to assisting the less fortunate and to provide an equal opportunity to all children in their schooling life. His first book, Death at an Early Age, published in 1967 and won 1968's National Book Award in Science, Philosophy and Religion, was when he began telling of his stories and teaching. Since his first book, he has gone to publish 11 more telling ways that ideals and teaching habits could be changed to suit the needs of the children. These changes that he implores many to read about and use are his way to get people to notice the inequality within the poorer districts schooling in America. And although his ideas mainly focus on America's schooling system, it can easily be mirrored to work in other countries. Kuzel's many books and writings try to combat these inequalities that he perceives to exist within low-class societies and tries to fix these issues by looking at and finding the root of these problems. He has currently published 12 books, each garnering attention for both supporters and skeptics alike. Alike, Death at an Early Age was his first major contribution to education, thoughts and ideas. <clears throat> it told of how the students in his grade 4 class located in a Boston ghetto were beautiful, talented, and the system set in place was there conspiring to suppress the talent that they had. He was probably fired from school after trying to help the students express their talents and broaden their education, which sparked the writing of his first book. Kozol teaches students and professionals alike about the individuality and the segregation involved within schooling. He has provided the academic community with numerous amounts of material to spark discussions and about the previous and current state of the education curriculum. How this curriculum affects students and even proposes changes that could be made to make things better for the students. His works have gotten schooling systems to reevaluate themselves, cater for more diverse environments, and let the most important part of schooling, the students, know that they can have faith in their own abilities. Now, having faith in one's abilities is a large part of being engaged and willing to learn. Kozel's teaching and studies of poverty-stricken students and lower cost schooling can be directly interpreted into many countries. Australian children, other than residing in a different country, are not much different from Americans when it comes to education. Yes, everyone may engage to different subjects more or less, more, or learn a different way, but have a figure in a classroom that helps and supports you, someone that wants you to use your talents to their full potential, would help a lot of students of any ethnicity or race. Kozol mentions that a great deal of attention is placed on bad parenting when a child does something wrong or something happens to the child, but he responds by asking us to observe a wider picture. What about cutbacks within the government or protection for the children before these issues arise? We can directly see the ties between ties between issues within lower class American schooling and lower class Australian schooling. The lack of engagement, a lack of funding, teachers who work only for their pay, and not the children. These are the issues that Kozol's writings and proactive attitude try to combat. Teachers should be there to support students' growth and to nurture it and let it blossom. Cutbacks, forced curriculum, and even peer pressure hold teachers back from being able to nurture the innocence of the students and can cause them to fail at life before they even get to begin. These are the reasons I take forward with me into my potential future career in teaching. Kozen wants to give all students, no matter where they may be on the economic scale, an equal opportunity in education and life. He wishes to help those who may have already been, already given up on the talents they possess, and those who may not even realize they have any skills. Kozor wants to challenge many to look at poverty, injustice, and poor school performance, not through a sense of individuality, but rather systematically. Your life should not be set in stone for the school you go to or the suburb you live in. Children take in many things from the environment around them when developing, and a large portion of a child's life is spent at school. 
because children spend so much time within the school environment, they're going to take in the feedback from around them, and especially the adult figures around them, namely the teachers, and mold them and use that to mold them into their future self. My goal as a teacher will be to grow the talents of the students and to be a positive role model for them, regardless of background, the location of the school, ethnicity, anything like that. Without people like Fozo campaigning for these changes within school and curriculum, I could also I could also in the future become a teacher that falls prey to the day to day life focusing on that paycheck, doing only what is necessary to appease the higher up, forgetting about the students once I leave for home. I don't want to be that teacher. I want to be the teacher that is there for them when they need help and can help them and one that they remember in their future life. So because of all of these, that is why I believe Jonathan Kozel is a very inspirational and influential teacher within the education environment and one that I indeed look up to and I aspire to be like in the future. Thank you for listening to my presentation and see you later.